gosh, you actually wanted a real answer. I'd be happy to share. For background information, the barbecue machine uses the controller. The controller tells the auger to turn on, which moves these pellets from in here to in here where the fire is present, adding fuel to the fire that raises the temperature that heats up this area that indicates a new temperature here on the temperature probe. So let's bring this old controller inside and I'll show you when the auger turns on. The firmware on this machine is running a control loop and the control loop is in software and the firmware actually, and the auger turns on when the flag goes up. When does the flag go up? It that goes up when the temperature is too cold. The temperature is too cold when the target temperature minus the latest measurement of the temperature is below a threshold in the PID loop, the control loop. The target temperature comes from one of these inputs. We read which value the user selected, like 300 degrees. The target of 300 minus the current temperature of 250 is the error. So that is 50 degrees positive. That means, just made a fix here, the error is 50, that is larger than 10. That means the condition is too cold. That means the action is raise the flag. Then we update the whole control loop. We complete this loop by taking the next step, which is apply the action and set the flag on. And then we take one more sample for the next temperature in the measurement, which is a function run. Then the temperature is set to a new sample temperature by running the sample temperature function and applying that value into here. The machine here uses the processor right here to run the firmware that tells the instructions of the loops to control, for instance, the pins here that talk to the relay device here that controls the power to say, yes, we will send the power to the auger motor on this cable. The control loop is happening here in a cycle. After the control loop goes, then we run a the auger based on a function that decides based on the flag to go ahead or stop. Then we continue the loop. We reach a potential interrupt. The interrupt is a set of functions such as my flag is set equal to the condition of the prime button because the user is presently contacting the prime button here. The interrupt function may bounce us back to run auger and then continue again on our way on the blue arrows. The flag is a variable of one or zero. It's one here if temperature is too low and it's one here if the user's asking for a prime. How do I know it works like this? I don't know, that's just an educated guess. I guess the auger turns on when the flag is up.